Hey, what's up, Car Kings? It's your boy, Scott Leonard. And as I promised you guys, I finally did it. I know all you f***ing McLaren haters were praying on my downfall in that last video where I said I was going to trade the Porsche in for the McLaren. This car completely destroys the Porsche 718 Spider that I had. I know you guys are going to hate that. All you Porsche fanboys. I had a video going over all of the expenses I had with the 718 Spider. Unfortunately, the day I uploaded the reveal video, I accidentally erased that video. I'm in talks with some of my buddies that still have a 718 Spider so I can redo that video and hopefully get you guys the content I promised. I might have to move. It's getting really windy here. I really came out here just to get the sunsets for my reels. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram. It's car Buddha. That's car underscore Buddha. Go ahead and check me out. I already got the decals for the car. I'm gonna have to redo the one in the back window. What's really cool is that this window is functional. So it actually goes up and down. The problem I'm having is that when the roof is down on the car, the window doesn't go all the way up. So this sticker is halfway visible. I had to move the car because it was too windy on the other side. I am out here with the 2019 570S Spider in Vega Blue. This car makes about 570 horsepower from a 3.8 liter V8 wind turbo. I think that I was delusional before when I had the Porsche 718 Spider and I thought that my car competed with this. There is no way in any universe that that car can compete with this car. This car is mega fast. Now that I have this, I have to say that I've been blown away and I don't even know if I can ever go back to a Porsche. The only way I'm going back to a Porsche is if I can get a 992 GT3 RS at MSRP. The way the market is looking is never gonna happen. Whereas this, I got a banger deal on it. Traded in my 718 Spider that had 46,000 miles. The one thing I do have to say is that the Porsches do hold their value because there's no way I'm gonna drive 46,000 miles with this car and be able to trade it in. This car has the luxury package. I'm not a big fan of comfort seats. I already ordered the part that goes here and carbon fiber, leather steering wheel, leather dash, Alcantara door panels. It also comes with the Bowser Wilkins stereo. Pretty happy with the sound system. McLaren orange calipers with the carbon ceramic brakes. I still have the stock exhaust. Spoke with Jim from Wolf Den. We're gonna go ahead and get the pinstripe all the way around the diffuser, the side skirts, and the front splitter. I think that will actually make the car seem a lot more aggressive. It's a hardtop convertible. Every single car I've owned so far has been a convertible. I couldn't give that up. I think the car looks sexy with the roof down and up. As you can see, the roof coming up right now. Fully motorized roof. I think they were pretty smart when they went with the hardtop convertible versus the Lamborghini softtop convertible. Whenever I see those Lamborghini softtop convertibles, I always think that the car looks kind of weird. For those of you guys that don't know, underneath this hood, there is a engine, and that engine is the same engine that's in the E1, the McLaren 12C, pretty much all of the McLarens. I think the only one that doesn't have it is 720S. I think they changed the engine on that. I'm not 100% sure, so you guys correct me if I'm wrong there. Even with the turbos, the only time I've experienced turbo lag with this engine is going from first gear to second, or if I don't let the boost build up, but it's superb. And the handling on this car is also amazing. One of the other cool features of this car is that it features a carbon fiber monocoque, which is super lightweight weight definitely trims a bunch of weight off of this car this is one of the best cars you can get in the price range this particular model ran me $189,000 with the trade-in I was able to knock down about $50,000 off the price I think I got a really good deal on this car the fact that it's almost brand new I had 4,300 miles when I got it and it had two owners before me that means that people who had this car before me did not even drive the car they just kept it in the garage the entire time I will not be doing the same I will be driving it I won't abuse the car like I did with the Porsche but I will be driving it estimating about 3,000 miles a year on this one. I 100% need to give McLaren Orlando a shout out. They gave me a killer deal. No hassle, no haggling. I could not be more happy with them. So if you guys are looking for a McLaren, newer used, I exhort you to go ahead and reach out. Well, reach out to me and I have a guy that works there. His name's Matt Yates, awesome sales guy. And if you guys are interested in getting a McLaren, hit me up. I'll put you in contact with them. I'm sure you can get you guys a killer deal. Overall, the handling on this car is also superb. I think that the Porsche had more accurate steering. The steering was sharper, but it didn't feel as good. There's no way that the Porsche steer by wire can compare to the hydraulic steering in this 570S. The steering is on point, guys. Car feels super stable, super balanced. The Porsche was a little bit too jittery. This car is definitely a smoother ride. 718. One more thing, guys. We're out here in Central Florida enjoying the beautiful sunset. There is no other state in the United States that can compete with us, maybe California. Look at the sunset, beautiful afternoon. I got some banger reels that I'm gonna be posting on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, follow me at Car Buddha. That's Car underscore Buddha. Completely breathtaking. Vega blue, McLaren orange, and the beautiful Florida sunset. You guys can't beat that, views on views. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.